So there's a video going around on the internet right now which shows two bad guys stealing a car off somebody's drive by just simply unlocking it and driving off. So there's a video online that you might have seen where which I'll put in the video description below of two guys coming up to someone's door and just unlocking the car and driving off. One of the guys stands with some device next to the front door and the other one just pushes the button on the car to get in and then the car starts and they drive they both drive away. What's happening here is called a relay attack. Um, one of the guys, or both guys, actually have two boxes. Um, they're wireless boxes, and ex essentially what they're doing is they're extending the range on the key uh, car communication. So on a modern car, which has an unlock feature, uh, when you walk up to it, there's normally a button uh, actually on the door handle um, that you have to press to um, acknowledge the fact that you've got your key in your pocket and um, you're next to the car. Um, they're taking advantage of basically the poor security uh, that's um, involved in this uh, transaction between the key in your pocket and the car itself. So basically what's happening there is the car is pinging out looking for the key. Um, the key, when it's in range, says, hey, yeah, I'm here. And hey, presto, you can unlock the car, get in, drive without putting the key in the ignition or anything like that. The problem is that you can relay this signal. So if you put a box near your front door, which captures the, uh, the signal um, re reply from the uh, key, and you put another box near the uh, car, then the car thinks the key is in range. Now, the re reason that this works is because there's no timing information exchanged between the key and the car. So uh, despite the, the box, the retransmission box causing some delay in that signal, the, the car doesn't know, it's a bit dumb. So there's a really easy way that you can defend against this system. You can put your keys in a biscuit tin, which, you know, is fine. We did that for a while. Um, but actually, you can go ahead and just buy these things off Amazon. Um, they're just little pouches. Um, but the pouches themselves have inside them a foil lining, um, which effectively creates something called a Faraday cage. So when you place your keys into this, it's essentially like a metal box. So when you close it over like this, it folds the foil round your key, which means that no radio waves can get in and no radio waves can get out. So you could literally take this up to your car with your key in it and the car would not unlock. And in fact, if you do buy them, test that and make sure that they do work and they're not some cheap Chinese knockoff. But that is the simplest way of defending against these relay attacks. You can then safely store your keys next to your front door or wherever you normally store your keys, safe in the knowledge that these will keep your car on your driveway. I hope that was interesting for you. Um, we've just bought a new car and you know that was one of the first things I, I you know had in my mind because I'd seen these videos online. So um, I hope that was interesting. If it was, give us a like. I'll put the product that I bought. Um, there's loads available. Um, not advocating this particular one, only that I know it works because I tested it. Um, I'll put that in the video below. But if that was useful to you, give us a like and um, subscribe.